Hey everybody, how's it? Aloha, this is Jeeves here. Good morning. Frog in the throat right there for my start. <laughs> I want to welcome you here to the Decomposer Lounge, your Monday morning start. Oh, ah, it's going to be a good day, no matter what, right? So, from my Patreon, I have a band called Smile, or The Smile, I believe it is. And so I looked it up, and you Radiohead friends, I'm sure you're going, aha, oh, mm, wait till he, Jeeves finds out. Well, so it says here, The Smile are an English rock band comprising the Radiohead members uh, Tom York, Thomas York, Tom York, Johnny Greenwood with the drummer Tom Skinner, and this particular, I guess maybe it's an album, I guess, or this song at least, The Smile, was produced by Nigel Godrick, if I said that correct. So uh, anyhow, I definitely look forward to this. I've become very much a fan of Radiohead and this kind of very eclectic, artsy kind of writing that, that uses very unique rhythms or sounds, whether they're microtonal or, or whatever the case is. It's always some kind of a journey. Oops, my headsets are stuck around my guitar rack. Stand by! Okay, much better. Um, so... <laughs> So I look forward to this. Thank you guys for your support like usual. Want to buy me a cup of coffee? You know where the links are. You want to check out the Patreon, even if you come in just for a month. You come on, hang out for a month. There's a ton of videos there that are not on YouTube. I, as a matter of fact, I, I think I have one or two Radiohead uh, videos on my Patreon channel that I've reacted to that are not on this channel. Well, you know where the links are. They're down below. Okay, let's do this. This is the band, The Smile, and the name of the track is Thin Thing. All right. Okay, I had to find somewhere to stop. What a trippy video. This video is really super cool. Even though I'm trying not to watch it so much, you can tell I'm really immersed in this riff that is being played is <clears throat> so hauntingly unique. And, you know, the patterns just, you know, kind of do kind of jock around a bit. Now, but it's the changes in, in the uh, key structure, if you would, of what he's playing. He jumps into a different torqued key which is really super crazy. And I love, what I love about it is the performance. You know, we're, this channel is, is severely riff oriented channel, but we're used to hearing it, you know, really superbly clean played distortions, different types of uh, uh, effects and stuff like this, and all kinds of great, um, you know, metal approaches to guitar tones and stuff. But this one has 
probably as raw and as dialed down as the sound as you possibly can can have because there's all the little nuances that are happening with his fingers through his riffs that you can pick up that really makes you feel that he's sitting here on your left side going and they're not you know uh, velocity perfect you know um, um, picks if you would um, of those notes that make it sound technical or or, or too perfect and stuff like that. So you hear lighter nuances. You hear sometimes a little string noise. Sometimes you're hearing a little mute, you know, a mistake, not a mistake mute, but you know, uh, in, in the live playing. I just so love that. It's mesmerizing, especially in, once the drums come in, we get into that syncopated kind of vibe going there. The drums, super intimate sound. I love that. Very dry, very quiet, very intimate, zero reverb. Therefore, once again, you have a very intimate kind of presentation instrumentally. Then all of a sudden the vocals come in and very unique um, melody, of course, as you know, Tom, uh, Tom is known for. Um, but what I love about this is the different use of engineering and how they had the reverb and almost sounds like a very old school chamber sound and the reverb that's just on this side. So they're really enjoying themselves uh, giving us a very artistic expression not only musicianship and composition, but also in the engineering. Then we hear the guitar tones changing in the riff, but not so abruptly that it's taken us away from, I guess, let's just say the, if there's such a thing, the abstract canvas <laughs> that they laid out for us at the very beginning. So this is very unique and the riff is absolutely crazy. And it kind of matches this video is, is, is as, uh, creative is that. So let's just continue on. This is, was this was a macabre <laughs> ass video, a perfect timing I think right before Halloween. Uh, whoever did the video on this uh, um, did an absolutely monster of a job. Um, and this is not a video review, but I'm just saying that was pretty crazy. Um, so when I kicked back in, uh, there was that more of a, just a raw kick up of of some kind of a drive, like an like a, an like an amp drive or a fuzz box that was kicked in on the guitar, which I thought was really super cool. Um, you know, through all that he's playing, there is actually a note. Da, da. I think it's this. Dumb. I think this is the note right here. Now, if you go back and listen to this, 
if you remember that note, I think that's the through note through this for me that I was like, oh man, this is so cool. They actually are in kind of a pedaled zone, it sounded like, except there was a couple little torques at the beginning that were like, eh. Um, but I just, I was just getting, I don't have much reaction left to, to say about uh, more than or expand on than what I had said earlier, then this was just so artistic and so weird, but yet so as 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 bizarre and that, that riff, these rhythm patterns that were going on, there was a bit of a comfort that somewhere, even if you don't know anything about time, even if you had a hard time kind of finding that, where's that moment, where's that spot where you bob your head, you feel you like you lock where where can you lock in with this? There wasn't anything definitive that was guiding you to where's that da -da 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 -da, you know, except listening to the downbeat possibly of the riff. Um, there's this weird little comfort zone throughout everything we just heard that does that pulled me in, where I didn't have to work hard to like find the one kind of thing. I just kind of felt dig 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 kind of like almost, uh, you know, the double one two three four five one two three four five one two three four five six one two three four five six one two whatever you know. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. First words in the morning. There is that kind of vibe to it, but. Um, I love it. It's a great way to start off my week uh, because I got some pretty heavy bangers coming up. But uh, this was great. I don't know if this is a one-off or if they've released a, an album. You guys tell me, you fans of Radiohead or, or The Smile, uh, let me know um, what I have uh, looking forward to going down a rabbit hole. I appreciate you guys hanging out. I appreciate any support you can give me, even if you like it or uh, like the video or leave comments. Or if you do you know, hang out on Patreon, that'd be great. Uh, outside of that, uh, like I said, I got a pretty packed week for us here and i also have a slow burn coming up of uh, lincoln park and right now all the patreon members are sending me song suggestions so if you want to get in on that head over to patreon you guys take care of yourself have a killer week killer day it's all good you're in control of it all it's all good all right <laughs> i'm not going to go to guru mode because <laughs> i'm not a guru you guys take care of yourself have a killer day aloha <laughs> All right.